Welcome back folks to CrossFit ELM's at home workout series and today we have a workout that's for time but you're going to want to take your time. Okay? We're going to do a movement called Turkish get ups and if you've ever done them you know it takes a lot of concentration to make sure they're done well. So we're going to go through as always from top to bottom warm up to cool down of what it is and then we'll go move by movement by movement to make sure that you know exactly what you're doing. So. Starting at the top, we're going to stir the pot for 20 seconds, stretch out that shoulder a little bit, and then we're going to do 30 seconds of lizard to hammy stretch rock. So that's a new kind of little twist to our lizard pose. Then we're going to do three rounds of 12 plank shoulder push-ups, 12 reverse sit-ups, and five double-doubles. Once you get through that, we're just going to jump right in. We're going to practice your Turkish get-ups, okay? Because it does take some practice and some getting used to going through that sequence, all right? Your workout today is three rounds for time of eight left-handed Turkish get-ups, eight right-handed Turkish get-ups, and then 24 pedestal squats, which is a new kind of squat, but it's not as uh, complex as it sounds, all right? And then we're gonna finish off with one minute of puppy dog pose and one minute of pigeon stretch. So. Coming back to the top, what in the world is stir the pot? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our weight, whatever that weight is. I just need something heavy enough to kind of pull on me a little bit. So I'm gonna grab a kettlebell or a dumbbell, all right? I'm gonna put one hand on the knee, I'm gonna grab the weight, and then I'm gonna relax the shoulder and let it pull, and then I'm literally gonna stir the pot, okay? I'm gonna go, what is that, 20 seconds? In, e in each direction here. So 20 seconds one direction, then when I stop, I'm gonna put it down to stop the momentum, pick it back up and go the other way. Okay, 20 seconds on each arm there. From there, we got 30 seconds of lizard to hammy stretch. So we're gonna come down into position to do our normal lizard pose, which is I need that nice vertical shin, my hands are gonna go down, that back leg's gonna go way back, it's reaching way back. Okay, so I'm getting some good hip flexor, maybe even a little bit of hamstring hip stretch here. I'm gonna hang out here, but then I'm gonna rock backward, stretch the hamstring. Come back in, stretch the hip flexor. Hamstring, hip flexor. You're just gonna kinda of rock back and forth like that for 30 seconds on each leg, all right? From there, we got plank shoulder push-ups. These are push-ups that aren't really push-ups. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up in the tall plank. Now I can do these from a knee plank, but you'll get more benefit if you can come all the way up, okay? From here, I'm gonna let my shoulder blade sink, and then I'm gonna press and round them out. Sink, round them out, okay? So what I'm trying to get you to do is pay attention to your shoulder blades sliding together as you sink, and then sliding apart as you push the ground away. 12 of those, and then 12 reverse sit-ups. So reverse sit-ups, I'm gonna lay on my back, Hands go right underneath my butt cheeks, okay? And then I'm either gonna do a knee tuck, or if I have the capability, I'm gonna go full straight leg, okay? 12 of those, and then of course, everybody's favorite, the double-double. Um, so we're gonna go lunge, squat, lunge with the other leg, and squat. That's one, and you've got five of those. Once you're through three rounds of your warm up, we're gonna jump right into Turkish get ups, okay? So, pick a weight. For your practice, I would do this with something really light, a five pound weight, maybe even just like a can of soup, or even just like a mat or a baseball mitt or something. You need to practice the movement here, okay? Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay on my back, okay? I'm gonna put the weight straight up overhead. Okay, so I'm gonna do this with my left hand. From here, I'm gonna take, so arm that has the weight, this leg stays up, the opposite leg goes down. Okay, so I always start same, same. Okay, other hand goes out here to about a 45. Push that out of the way, there we go. Okay, and it can come up just a little bit higher if you need to, right? Once I'm in this set position, step one, get to my elbow. So I'm gonna push the weight away and do a sit up. So sit up to elbow, okay? Press to hand, 
Okay, and you're going to be tempted to want to slide this back hand closer to you. Don't do that yet. Okay, what you're going to want to do is press this foot into the floor and this hand into the floor. And I'm looking at my weight the whole time. I want to make sure I can balance it. I'm going to press my foot and my hand into the floor, pick up my hips. Okay, notice how high I've lifted my hips. Now I'm going to sweep that bottom leg through. Okay, now I'm on my knee. I need to come all the way through where my knee is under my hip. Okay, from here, once I've swept through, I'm going to come up onto a knee and then stand. Now I've got a reverse course. Down. This is going to be tempting. You're going to want to reach in front of you, okay, or even behind you. What you want to do, okay, the actual correct thing to do is reach to the side, okay. Once I'm there, I'm going to sweep my leg back through to my butt, then come down to an elbow, then come down, right? Easy as pie, right? Okay. Now I'm going to go to the other side, press up. Now you can see what's going on here, right? So here we go. Steps, same, same. Check. Okay. Press to elbow. Good. Press to hand. Good. Lift the hips. Nice. Sweep. Knee down. Coming up. Stand up. Now reverse course. Knee back down. Reach to the side. Sweep. Elbow. Down. Okay. That is how you step yourself through a Turkish get up. Okay. So same, same. Elbow. Hand. Hips up, knee sweep, stand up, and then reverse course, okay? Um, pedestal squats, they're just squats. The only thing that's gonna change is, now you need a little balance because you gotta pretend like you're standing on a pedestal. As I sit down for these, I still wanna push my knees apart, and I still wanna have really good posture, okay? So as I sit down into this, hands are gonna come out for balance, and come up, okay? Some of you guys might actually find those easier than normal squats, okay? So, um, eight get-ups on one side, eight get-ups on the other side, 24 squats, three rounds. And you can see how long it took me to do that get-up. This is gonna take some time, so plan for some time, probably 20 to 25 minutes, maybe even 30 for some of you guys, so be prepared for that, all right? Puppy dog pose to finish it off. Okay, so we're gonna go hips high, hips over knees. Walk these hands out, stretch out those shoulders. Those shoulders are gonna get tired. Okay, relax here for a minute. All right, and then the last one is, of course, the pigeon stretch. This one we set up, I like to sit up on my hip like this. I can tuck this leg nice and close. Leg goes back behind you, and now I'm gonna try and get this kneecap down to the ground, posture up and stretch okay there is your friday workout folks way to close out the week if you're ready for a saturday workout we'll see you tomorrow